today with a delicious bison burger for you. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Bison burger. Hi, this is Chef Pachi. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place all of our seasoning ingredients in a bowl. So we have some shallot and we have a thinly sliced fig. Then we have some delicious and aromatic smoked paprika and some roasted garlic that I have in the fridge. If you don't have it, just use regular garlic cloves. We're gonna chop half a cup of sun-dried and roasted tomatoes. I have them roasted, but you can use the sun-dried too. Dice them small and that's it. Half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of pepper, and a couple of teaspoons of that delicious thyme that I taught you how to dry. A third of a cup of oats and a pound of our bison meat. Two tablespoons of good balsamic vinegar. Use some good balsamic vinegar that's been rested and is high quality. It's gonna give it the perfect acidity and the perfect flavor for this meat and the fig. An egg puts all of the ingredients together. And that's it, we're ready. Those are the bison burgers. I'm gonna set them aside for a minute and we're gonna make our patties. Normally, you would just make four burgers from a pound, but we are gonna make six. And this is gonna help our earth be more sustainable. My point of view, it is reducing the portion sizes of our foods that's gonna really make it sustainable for everyone to join in in saving our planet from all of the greenhouse grasses and the excess amount of meats that are being used. Now this is a wild meat and wild meats are very good because they are much less processed. The animals are free, they eat what they find and they are very, very healthy. This is why I'm doing many of these during the week because we wanna eat food that's really healthy for us whilst we also take care of the planet. Six burgers from our one pound of bison. Check it out, they're full of flavor. The roasted garlic, the roasted tomatoes, the shallots, everything, that dark paprika that is also smoked with the balsamic vinegar and the fig. It's perfect all over. Now you can freeze them or refrigerate them and make them that day or the next. We're gonna cook them at medium high heat for about a minute and a half and cover. This way, they're gonna defrost and cook at the same time. We're gonna serve this delicious burger over a portobello mushroom. And we're gonna cook it with the same balsamic vinegar that is so good and the same dry thyme we use. Remember to watch that video on how to have them dry naturally at home, in your fridge. So we're gonna add some of this delicious thyme onto each portobello mushroom. A pinch of salt and pepper. At the end, just a drizzle of olive oil on the pan so that they don't stick. I also use them to make sandwiches another recipe that I'm gonna show you soon, which is a sandwich with these portobellos, the same garlic and tomatoes, with some Greek yogurt and some delicious sourdough bread. Then we just cook them at a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and a 375 degree if your oven is not convection. That is it, how simple. Here we go. We can also use those today, tomorrow, and even the third day. So we place our bison on top of the mushroom or on top of the bread. So here I have it in the middle. You can go either way. Some guacamole that I made with white onions and some Greek yogurt. That's it. Delicious flavors that go together. That's it. Remember, this is Chef Pachi. Delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy! Chef Pachi!
subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.